The Hazelton Avenue Heritage Conservation District area is located in the Yorkville neighborhood within the city of Toronto. The significant historical and architectural character of the Yorkville Triangle and scholared Hazelton areas make it an important part of the city's rich legacy of neighborhoods. That is also good enough. The Hazelton Avenue area is primarily residential, with some commercial activities at the north and the south edges. The portion of the village of Yorkville, west of Young Street, was annexed to the city of Toronto in 1883 as part of Toronto's expansion. From annexation until the end of Second World War, Yorkville and Hazelton Avenue was stable with most of the original buildings intact and representing the history of 19th century architecture in Toronto. The village was complete, a mixture of houses and human-sized commercial industrial properties in harmony of wood, stucco and brick. The lots along the both sides of Hazelton Avenue are generally 150 feet deep and range in width from 15 or 30 feet to 25 feet or 50 feet. The average lot area is around 3,000 square feet. The buildings are generally located between 20 and 30 feet from the street. And in 1923, a group of professional women in the arts bought the old board and baton Olivet Church on Hazelton and made a permanent home for the Toronto Heliconian Club. With its eclectic mix of music, art, literature and dance, it provided a meeting place for creative women in the arts, where they were free to express, share and develop their talents. And with its stage, exhibit space and fine acoustics, it acted as an important venue for artistic activity, promoting the arts and in particular, the place of women in the arts. Heliconian Hall was designated a National Historic Site of Canada in 2007. By the early 1950s, artists and actors were relocating to the Yorkville area, attracted by low rents and a growing gallery, jazz and theatre culture. By the 1960s, Yorkville was the heart of one of Toronto's finest and most creative art communities. Change came rapidly as more and more people were attracted to the area and commercial redevelopment began. Projects such as York Lane altered the old village as the original buildings disappeared or were buried under contemporary renovations as building owners reconfigured their properties to capitalize on the area's popularity. Today, the original houses along Hazelton Avenue and associated streets north of Yorkville remain to link the area with its past. As one of Toronto's original Victorian streetcar suburbs, there is a wealth of heritage character found within the boundaries of this heritage district. Of almost 200 properties within the area, more than 65% were built before 1900s and there are 39 that are either listed or designated. There is a coherent sense of scale, material and rhythm of house fronts and bays.
Victorian architecture is the name given to revival and eclectic styles of building design and architectural decoration that were popular during the reign of Britain's Queen Victoria from 1837 to 1901. Here are some larger houses, whether detached or semi-detached or row houses, found along Hazelton Avenue, with the larger lots and greater street width. This suggests that the more affluent were attracted to this street. In the United States, Canada and Great Britain, Gothic and classical styles were the most popular historic revivals, which reintroduced elements such as the pointed arch and classical columns to vernacular architecture. There is a high proportion of generally well-maintained and consistent rows of brick detached, semi-detached and row houses sharing a similar relationship to the street. There are consistent floor heights from two to three stories throughout. A consistent rhythm and proportion of three-sided bays, steep pitched gables, porches, front steps and window openings that vary from street to street and by their scale reflect the relative affluence of the original owners. Hazelton Avenue is lined with mature, deciduous trees that form a vault above the street, creating an intimacy and enclosure that is missing on the other streets in the district. Due to the closeness of the buildings to the street, there is very little front yard parking. One result is that cars are relegated to the street and rarely get between pedestrian and house front. Some ornamental fences, walls and gardens serve to separate home buildings as far as possible from the street with the front doors connecting the residential life behind those doors to the street experience.